Welcome back to the channel. In today's part one of the video series, Drywall Repair and Skim Coat After Mirror Removal, I'm gonna show you how to get that black mastic glue off your wall. And also, if you torn or ripped the brown drywall paper, you're gonna need to seal that with a special primer sealer. I'll show you exactly how to do that and more. If you're looking to step up your drywall texturing or painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification. I wanted to be sure to give a subscriber shout out to Jeff Ostroff, whose question inspired this video. Jeff's question was, hey Paul, would love to see you do a video on skimming over the bathroom vanity wall after you remove an old mirror and having to deal with those big black glue globs that mess up the drywall after you remove the globs. It ruins the paper and leaves the now brown, exposed, and roughened paper with that weird texture. It's hard for me to cover up that texture with the mud. Then paper left behind under the old glue globs and starts to ripple. I hope this video can help you out and good luck on your next mirror removal project. Thanks again for the question and subscribing to my channel, Jeff. And for everyone, be sure to check out Jeff's channel. He's got about 5,000 subscribers. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. And if you'd like to get your channel featured and a shout out, leave a comment or question or just be helpful in the comments on my video. Here's the tools you'll need to remove the mirror mastic. All right, so here's the wall where the floor to ceiling mirrors had been removed by the homeowner and his nephew. They also removed some wallpaper, but that's another video. All right, so I did notice a couple nails up top and I do have to do a repair because they didn't remove the nails the right way. You always have to put something underneath the hammer when you remove a nail on drywall. If not, you're gonna bust a hole in the drywall. Here I'm using a piece of drywall. You can also use a flat bar, anything that's just a solid surface for your hammer to be able to pull. So I started out using my six inch drywall knife to scrape, which really wasn't doing much. So I got my chisel, it's a brand new DeWalt chisel, it's super sharp. That seemed to work really well for scraping off the mastic. Just gotta hit it from different angles and it seems to come off pretty easy. You want to get as much off as possible. I'm trying my best not to damage the drywall, but it's inevitably going to happen. There's some flaking paint I'm also scraping off. Going to speed it up a little bit. You don't want to see this whole process. It's pretty repetitive. Scrape. Use the chisel, use the drywall knife. Oh, another nail. Popped right off. Just keep scraping, get it down as far as you can back down to the drywall. We're gonna do a couple coats of mud with a skim coat so uh, you do have a little room to play with. This side wasn't so easy to scrape. Got down to the paper. This spot was just stuck so heavily. It was like the hardest one to get off. It's a tedious job, but it's probably better than rehanging all the drywall. So I'm going to finish this up and then show you the primer sealer I'm going to use. Quite a few mastic blobs, as Jeff said. I'm going to be using the Guards Problem Surface Sealer. So Guards is made by Zinzer. It's uh, the best product I've found to seal up the brown torn drywall paper when removing mirror mastic or even wallpaper. It's pretty watery though, so you want to use it sparingly. You don't want to soak a, a big thick roller nap because it's going to run down your wall like water. I'm 
I'm just using a small whizzy roller, also known as a cigar roller. So I'm basically just going over all the spots with the guards. A little heavier on the brown paper, not so much if the brown paper isn't showing. The guards also works as a great primer for new drywall or sealing up stuff. All right, the guards is applied. All I have to do is let that dry before I do some mud work. Once I upload part two, I'll leave a link in the YouTube card above. In part two, I'll show you how to do the first coat of all-purpose joint compound over all the mirror mastic. And over all the brown paper. I'll also show you a spot where it bubbled up on me and I have to deal with that. And if you're looking to step up your drywall texturing or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. And if you have a friend that's a DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Check out one of these videos down below.